Hello everybody, it's Saturday, October 10th, 2020, 66 Fahrenheit, 19 Celsius. I am in the village of Cold Spring, New York, on the Hudson River. This is the intersection of West Street and Main Street. And today I'll be walking the village of Cold Spring. Very nice day today, I just finished a hike up the Bull Hill. It was about three hours long and I had some relaxation time in the village. Had a nice dinner. But I really like this village. It has a lot to offer for people from the city and the surrounding area. A lot of hiking options. Very, very easy to get to from New York City. You just take the Metro North train from either Grand Central or Harlem. And it's an express train that comes up here about an hour and 20 minutes. Here they have a replica of the Parrot gun that was used to um, defend New York against invaders. Here is the mighty Hudson River, the same one that flows through New York City, through the Narrows and into the Atlantic Ocean. Over here we have Storm King Mountain, which is also um, a popular destination for hikers. The one I went to is called Bull Hill, named Bull Hill because back in the day, indigenous people chased a bull that terrified the mountain. The mountain actually plunged to its, I mean, the bull actually plunged to its death. So that's why the mountain is called Bull Hill or Mount Taurus. There's also another popular hike around here, which is called the Breakneck Ridge. I've actually hiked that one about two or three times. It's another nice hike through the area. Another popular hike around here too is to do a through hike to the town of Beacon, which is the next town over. I always recommend for people to come give this village a visit, especially for hiking and the fall foliage. Here's the bandstand that was erected. Now, down here, Moo Moo's Creamery, I waited probably about 20 minutes for this ice cream from the same uh, end of the line where I started. The same, um, same place where the end of the line is over here. But let me tell you, the scoops there are ginormous. One scoop was five bucks, but it seemed like it was like two scoops. And they have so many different flavors. I got the chocolate almond. There was other flavors like the Oreo and the cookie dough. Here's the historic Hudson House River Inn. It's a dining area and a tavern since 1832. This is where I ate at the, for the evening. But there was a 45 minute wait for my table. And when I was just about to get called, there were still people here signing up on the list to get into this dining area hour and 20 minute waits. But now I'm going to walk up Main Street and I'll show you the main downtown area of the village of Cold Spring. The Hudson House also has a large outdoor area. This is where I ate here. Love the ambiance. I really, really like the character and the charm of this village. Each little shop and storefront has a little 
unique ring to it. It makes it very attractive. You're going to see as I walk through. Let's cross the street now because I'm going to have to do it on the way there anyway. So you can see some of the trees, they're turning colors already. The top of this tree is a bright red. Here's another famous place for the desserts. I think it's an Argentinian dessert place. It's called Rincon Argentino. Cafe Rincon Argentino. Cafe empanada, gelato, and postres. So the Cold Spring Metro North Railroad Station is right here. You can exit the train at the Main Street exit, but to go to the other side, I need to take this underpass. The railroad also has another side you can um, exit at the parking lot. But be aware if you come to this um, station and you go to the hiking area, it is a little bit of a walk to the hiking trail, probably about like 15 minutes to the Washburn Trail of the Hudson Highlands. That's where I went. And Ubers and car service options can be hard to get to at times. Just for curiosity, I tried to see um, how much it would cost for a car service Uber to the hiking trailhead from there. It was 45 bucks, and that was because there was a surge price in effect. Over here is the public toilet area. When I got off the train, there was a wait for the public toilets, but now there's none. And I believe this is the Depot Square Street, right next to the um, Metro North Railroad. You can see here the historic sign. I'm trying to walk through here so you can get a good look at it. Cold Spring. Long line for this restaurant as well. This is what happens when you come here. You go hiking in the morning or the afternoon and by the time you get back down into the town, there's at least 45 minute to probably two hour waits for these places because they get so popular. What I actually did was I had a little bit to eat before I came here. So that way I didn't feel guilty if I didn't get a seat afterwards. Oh, that ice cream looks good. You want some? <laughs> I already had some at the Moo Moo. Uh, yeah. Go there, yeah, the line's very long there. Here's another ice cream parlor at the end of the street here, Perry's Ice Cream. I was reading um, this place is definitely not as good as Moo Moo. But as I was walking through this area before, it seemed like almost every single restaurant or like convenience store had their own version of ice cream. That's the Metro North train going back to New York City, arriving at the Cold Spring Station now. Wow, look at all these people. Actually, it is recommended to walk one direction. So I'm going to walk on the other side of the street and then come back around the other side. These are all due to like COVID regulations. 
But I'm gonna have to walk back the other side of the street anyway in order to catch the train back to New York City. Right now, I think it's kind of like the late time for people to finish their hikes and then come back here. You can see this cafe is kind of quiet right now. It was very busy in the morning when I came here. Cold Spring, Old Souls, New York. Very charming. And here is the um, so right another place, Old Souls. Here's Swing, build your wardrobe thoughtfully. And the Cold Spring Barber and Brew. Really, really charming place. And the Pig Hill Inn, bed and breakfast. The Cold Spring Apothecary and Wellness House. Looks like it's a um, little bit busy right now inside the apothecary. But this is what happens at the end of the day when all the hikers come back from the trails. They visit all the shops at Cold Spring. Here's the Cold Spring Antique Center. Cold Spring Candy Company, free fudge tasting. I'm sure it's very good. Cape Cod leather. This is um, the Cold Spring Village Municipal Building. The police uh, precinct is here, as well as the other governmental offices. And here's the Catherine's Tuscan Grill. You can see their dinner menu. Appetizers and main course. You can see their dining area over there. This is the Catherine's Tuscan Grill. Oh, this is the other side of it, the indoor dining part. I'll be in there. Antique Alley. Really cute things they got here. Split Rock Bookstore. It's closed now, though after hours the shops at Cold Spring the mall at Maine see the old sign on the top there it says Palin's drugstore not a drugstore anymore though Damn aged vintage shop. Another vintage store, the Vintage Violet. Really like some of these old um, pieces of silverware and pots and pans. Really, really neat. Country Goose.
archipelago at home. You got your card, right? Yeah. True? Really, really neat. An art gallery, Buster and Levi. There's the Hudson Hills Cafe and Markets. The Hudson Hills Cafe was a lot more busy in the morning than right now. Another antique store. East Village Boutique, the Side Effects NY. Says there the owner's retiring. Everything's 20 to 50% off. Ride to the hike, Breakneck Ridge, $3 per person every half an hour. Good to know. It's a bicycle store. All right, so that is pretty much the end of the restaurant scene and busy area of Main Street. So I'm gonna walk the other way and show you what's around there. Here's the Cold Spring Fire Department. Here's the old Homestead Club building from 1889 to 1908. The Highlands Currents. It's also a costume contest. That should be fun. Robert A. McCaffrey Realty. Let's see how much some of these homes cost. Village Victorian for $710,000. Cold Spring Village Home for $545,000. Multifamily for $539,000. And Garrison, which is south of here, $1.6 million. But a lot of these homes and places in the Hudson valley area they're not cheap definitely not cheap the endless skin I guess that's a play on the word skin Here's the Cold Spring Hotel, Silver Spoon Cafe. I actually ate here this morning. I had the veggie monster sandwich, it was delicious. Salad, sandwich, coffee, drinks, and more. Here's the Italian Village Deli. And a pizzeria of Cold Spring. Cold Spring Pizza. It's getting busy on this side of the street. Garden Cafe seems very busy now. Salad, frozen yogurt available, coffee, hot chocolate. Let's take a look at their menu. You can see here the salads, they're, um, they're all less than nine bucks with the exception of the chicken Caesar. Got their wraps drinks, 
paninis, and their drink options. See, the leaves are changing on this tree. I believe it is a version of a maple tree. Paulette Cafe at Cold Spring, looking very nice. Once upon a time, doll repair, whoa. Really unique. If you want to celebrate Halloween, this is where you go. Ming Moon Chinese Takeout. <laughs> These are public trash bins. Do look like they're full though. They need to be empty. The Cold Spring Coffee House. And check out their prices here on the blackboard. The Gift Hut. Wow, this looks like a very unique place. They've got like games and puzzles, toys. It's definitely a very charming village. I like the uh, ambiance here. Flower cup wine, sweet harvest. But they got baked goods, salads, juices, ice cream, sorbet. Now here's um, where you want to make a turn on if you're going to the hiking trails of Hudson High Lines. Fair Street. So you make a right here and you walk until you get to the Whiteburn Trail parking lot. That's where you enter the hiking trail area. Unless you're going to the Breakneck Ridge Trail, then you'll have to walk um, through there along the Cornish Trail or along Route 9D, which isn't recommended because you're, riding next, you're walking right next to the traffic. Many people also get a car service there. but. That's the um, options. Also, the Metro North also stops at the Breakneck Ridge stop, but not all the time. I think during COVID, they're not stopping there on the weekends. But when it's not COVID and during the fall season, they will stop at that station on weekends, Breakneck Ridge. It's kind of like a, just a little wooden platform where Metro North allows its customers to disembark. Usually it's the last two cars which are only allowed to disembark there, but please pay attention to the um, instructions there. Here's the Kismet, a boutique with class and a dash of sash. Really, really cute stuff here. You can see there pumpkin pillows. A lot of cool stuff like signs and little lanterns in the front, umbrellas. You can take home a pumpkin drawing if you want. Here's a law office and the general store. Cold Spring General Store. They got a lot of stuff for sale there. And I love these flower decorations they got. Really, really cool. The flower decorations. And you can see here, cold beverages, craft beer, provisions. Two floors of shopping. And the other side is the same. Here is Doug's Pretty Good Pub. I guess they have to be pretty good if they want to be here, right? They can't call it a bad pub. Okay. 
Doug's Pretty Good Pub voted best burger in town by some guy who likes burgers. I think I'll vote the best burger in town also by someone who doesn't know the town at all. <laughs> the menu, notable burgers, pretty good, damn good burger. I like that name. All right. Another art gallery, the Bijo Galleries Limited. This um, area is for sale, this building. It's probably very expensive though, as you saw from the real estate over there, especially on Main Street. Chapeau, another art gallery. And back to Depot Square again. See all these people coming back from their hikes, I guess, or their restaurants. But anyway, I am going to catch the train back to New York City. If you like this video, please do me a favor and destroy that like button for me. Turn that icon blue. Subscribe for some more videos and live streams. And I'll see you all next time. Take care, folks. And I'll leave some pictures of my hike up Bull Hill at the end of the video. So enjoy them if you want. See you later.